exciting as they should be, wouldn't you like to spice up every aspect of your life? Welcome to the sexiest tell-all self-improvement show that's guaranteed to get you active on the path to success. Join our hosts, Asia Amanis, alongside Shanika and Nicole and Associates, as we take you on our journey as we explore lifestyle, fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Hello, everyone. I'm Asia Omnis. I'm here with my co-host, Shanika Nicole, and this is our first episode of Chapter 36. Say hello, Shanika. Hi. And we also have joining us Jessica White with Sweetie's Jewelry Box, and she'll be explaining her event that she has coming up in October. We're very excited about that. And Well, what Chapter 36? What is Chapter 36? Chapter 36. Chapter 36 is that reinvention chapter, that that point that you get to in your life where you're just ready to start over. You're just ready to step out on faith and do all those things that you've always wanted to do, whether it's get that new haircut, go back to school, quit that job, become your own boss, whatever that is for you. That's your chapter 36. That's your reinvention. That's your start over. That's your new life. So that's what chapter 36. Exactly. Explain. And Shanika, you are the CEO of Lashed and Lovely. Yes. Yes. What started you on that path and what got you wanting to start your own business and just pursue that career path for yourself, that change? Um, well, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Lashed and Lovely is just my vehicle that's going to start that journey for me. Um, Lash and Lovely, I'm a mink, eyelash extensions tech. Um, mink lash extensions is a strand by strand lash extension process where I apply synthetic lashes to your natural lashes, just that to beautify that woman, to enhance your beauty. So I've always been into the whole woman empowerment, I'm into the whole beauty thing, love to look pretty. So I said, you know what, why not? Why not extend that to all the other women? So that's just the start. Exactly. And me and Shanika, we met in beauty school. Um, we took the comprehensive course, which is a facial specialist, esthetician license. Um, a little bit about myself. I've always been creative, always been into beauty and fashion. I can remember back as a child just playing through my mother's makeup bag and going through her closet, making my own Halloween costumes and forcing my little brother and my cousins <laughs> to, <laughs> to, you know, wear my costumes. Just let me mess with them or whatever. So fast forward to when we met in beauty schools, I had been been in a customer service for over 10 years and you know just going with different jobs and just never being truly fulfilled and I had moved to Georgia and was working for military housing I had ended up getting sick and got laid off and I was just in that transition phase which you're talking about just not knowing what I was going to do and feeling lost and betrayed because I had been with them and really enjoyed what I was doing and they just let me go with no notice no nothing so I'm sitting there just depressed and wondering, you know, what was my next move? I got a call from my best friend. Go best friend, that's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and she had been making jewelry and we have always had our own unique style. And she just was like, girl, I'm about to start this accessory company and I want you to come along with me. And there you have She Lux Couture. That was a pivotal point in my life where I just felt empowered for the first time in my life where I was able to set my own goals and make my own schedule and just really enjoy life and not look at it as work. Mm -hmm. So with that, I really discovered my passion and my love for styling and makeup artistry and just beauty in general. I'm really into aesthetics and trying mm -hmm. to stay young. <laughs> you know, you look beautiful. Thank you. So that's when I met you at mm -hmm. Beauty Schools of America with the comprehensive. And during that time, I was just a sponge. I was trying to soak up everything I possibly can, get licensed and everything that I can as far as body wrapping and microdermabrasion and the eyelash extensions and eventually the hottest new trend is the eyebrow extensions. Oh, Have you guys heard of that? Yeah, I heard yeah, of that. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I really love it because not only does 
you can sculpt the eyebrows, but it's for everybody. It's for mm-hmm. people that have alopecia or maybe somebody's been going through chemotherapy and they just don't have any hair or sparse areas. And now they have something called microblading, which is a process of tattooing. But anyhow, back to that beauty, as you know it, mm-hmm. is a foolproof career. It's like yeah. recession proof. Everybody wants to be fine. Right. Everybody wants to look good. So I just went forward with that. Yeah, I mean, and just to piggyback off what Asia said, beauty is just that industry. And just to be able to provide a woman with that, that just that little thing that's going to boost her confidence, that's what does it for me. I'm all about woman empowerment. I'm all about, girl, you look good today. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm a firm believer in if you look good, you feel good. And when you feel exactly. good, it it, set, it sets the, the path for your day. It sets you in motion. It gets you going. If I look good, I want to go out. I want to meet people. I want to, you know, I want people interact. to see me. I want to interact. So I'm just, I the beauty industry, like you said, it's here to stay and people are going to pay to look good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, they're I mean, they're going to skip this bill and rob Peter to pay for it. They're going to get that hair done. Exactly. So and they like you said, when outfit. I met you at Beauty Schools of America, it was one of those things. I was just there just like you. I said, you know what? I need to try something different. I have been in the construction industry for a long time. And construction, of course, isn't a woman's industry, so they say. Mm. But, I mean, I was doing well. I was dominating in the industry, but I just wasn't fulfilled. It's the same as you. I wanted my own thing. Mentally, I'm unemployable. I've always wanted to be my own boss. So I just said that I'm just going to take this beauty industry by storm. Whatever it is I can learn, whatever it is I can offer women, I'm going to just go for it. And I'm just happy with the connections that I make with you ladies. So I just know that this threesome here, you guys are going to be here for us. us. (laughs) (laughs) It's so much in store. You're so right. And Jessica, you are the CEO of Sweetie's Jewelry Box. Please explain to the people and for the uninformed, who is Jessica White? Who is Sweetie's Jewelry Box? Swedish Jewelry Box is an accessory line that has been expanding since I launched it. Um, I officially launched last year, 2014, but you know, I started this company in college. And what happened was I was going through jobs and I needed money for books for college. And everybody knows who's been to college, books are very expensive. So what happened was I started making my accessories in the schoolhouse and my, my classmates started to see them and they wanted me to purchase, I mean they wanted to make purchases. So I started making them for them and I had accumulated enough money to buy me at least five books. So I was like, I need to take this to another level. Right. So the idea has already been there since I was about 20 and I officially launched last year, 2014 and it's been growing ever since. Um, it's an accessory line that mimics sweets. But now we've branched off into uh, motivational speaking. We talk to young girls. We help kids with community service hours. Um, we, we love empowering women. And now I'm beginning to host events. So that's very important to me to be able to give back to my community through whatever it is that I'm doing. Absolutely. And I really have to say I enjoyed the event that we went to this past Sunday. I've never been to a vision board party. and. For all of you guys in the audience, we went to a vision board party with Beam Cosmetics, Mm -hmm. and it was simply amazing. All the connections we made, the conversations that we had, it was just so empowering, so uplifting, and so positive. And we will be back. Sweetie's Jewelry Box is hosting their second annual Jewel and Spa, and you're invited. Come enjoy a world where jewels, fitness, and beauty collide. Shop our unique vendors while indulging in relaxing spa services, Sweetie's Beauty Bar, or work up a sweat with our complimentary fitness sessions. Meet and greet our honorary sponsor, Tippy Toes Nail, from Oxygen TV's new hit series, Boss Nails. Be empowered by our keynote speakers, which include the legendary makeup artist, Rory Lee, the founder, Nesting Knowledge, and unveiling the mask movement, Miranda Wright. That's Saturday, October 3rd, from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., located at Lantana Recreation Center, 418 South Dixie Highway, Lantana. Admission $12 and $15 at the door. Girls ages 16 and under free. Purchase tickets at www.sjbevent.com. 
Some of the proceeds from this event will go to a women and children's shelter this holiday season. We ask that all guests bring a new unwrapped toy or hygiene product. Names of donors will be entered into our raffle. Welcome back. And we're just here with Jessica talking about her upcoming event for the, bit, the beauty and fitness. Yes. Explain to us when and where this is taking place. Um, so I came up with this event called the Jewel and Spa last year, and it was to just help a local nail salon in the area as well as give my um, company some exposure. So with that said, a lot of people were asking me, am I going to do it again? So this year, I decided I was going to do the Jewel and Spa again, but this time it's the Beauty and Fitness Edition where my lovely ladies will be attending. Um, and we'll have different vendors in the beauty field. We're going to have fitness sessions, um, boot camps, jazzercise, nail techs, makeup artists, anything that you can think of in the beauty and fitness world, I'm bringing that together. And the whole purpose of this event is to have women empowerment, to see women come together and unite. You know, and it, we see a lot of negativity, but we want to bring positivity, especially to the community. And so some of the pro proceeds from this event, um, because I have a heart for helping the youth and women, will go to a women and children's shelter. This holiday season, I'm going to donate some toys to a women and children's shelter and be able to go to the hospital and read books to the kids that can't go home for the holidays. That's wonderful. Awesome. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, and some of the vendors for you South Floridians will be the boss lady herself, Miss um, Cody from Boss Nails. Yes. Dana yes. Cody. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we're having Tipsy's nail salon come out there body contouring services teeth whitening lashes just you know, everything is just covered, a whole huh? bunch you know so the admission you can purchase your tickets online at sjbevent.com we're also looking for student volunteers so get the word out there i'm, I'm accepting volunteers they can apply online as well okay awesome. great i can't wait this is going to be my first I'm excited networking event so i'm excited and I'm getting back into the groove is what yeah. she likes to tour. We did a lot of gifting suites and events and things like that. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much. That's good. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. We have to stick together. <laughs> <laughs> so with saying that, you have the power to make that change. And right now is the time. Stop putting it off. Do it now. Um, right now, it's your chapter 36. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, you just have to just go, go at it full throttle. Don't halfway do it. You have to be a hundred percent about it because if you don't make it unbelievable, you don't make it believable. Then it's never going to become unbelievable to anybody. Right. Like that thing, like oh my god, I can't believe she did that. And you're like, yeah, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that that's what I'm going for. I I just know that right now, it's sky's time. the limit. Now is my time. I can feel it. So my chapter 36 too. is happening. It's happening. <laughs> yeah. The wheels are turning. Things are Just happening. Just even being here, like right now on this station, like who would have thought we'd be sitting here together? Together. together. <laughs> How we met that first right. day you walked into beauty school. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. <laughs> like, That's the yeah. thing. Like, right. yeah. And a lot of people don't understand the power of your words, the things mm -hmm. that you put in mm -hmm. as far as the TV you watch, the radio you listen to. It's positive affirmations that you have to speak yeah. to yourself constantly and believe it but not it. just speak it but just actually believe in it and start having forward process just start believing those things that as though they are right that's true yeah. that's I right. believe um, although I'm just uh, what is it 24 <laughs> yeah I'm 24 my chapter 36 has been this whole year because there's so much that has happened you know as far as getting in magazines you know I told myself this is what I want to do, and I want to be able to let young girls see that there are young people out there that are making a difference, that are not on TV, you know, doing bad things, but actually trying to make a change and trying to help them out as well because it's super-duper important. It's very important and vivital in our, in our society. We see so much on Instagram and social media of so right. many bad things. It is things. a social media area. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> and so it's like kids feel like they can't, express themselves any other way but if you know you have somebody come to an event and do community service hours you're making a difference in their life because they're seeing that oh she is young she's doing this you're putting that thought in their head you right. know yeah because yeah. everything these days is so unpersonal people don't even know how to establish mm -hmm. relationships and know how to communicate and network with people like telling somebody when you see them and giving them a compliment right it, 
you don't know what a person is going through exactly exactly you really don't know and i'm just excited because i feel like this opportunity is just getting helping us to break that chain getting rid of that negative connotation that women aren't for each other like women have that crab in the bucket mentality look we're three young women who didn't know each other all our lives totally different backgrounds (laughs) totally different backgrounds (laughs) and we're doing it you know we like minds connected we came together and we were just like you know what we're gonna make this happen and i think that um just opening that door for other women being those examples like she said for young ladies who are in high school and feel like they don't have a way they don't know a way so mm-hmm. we're going to show them you know just positive ways to do things exactly i want if, i mean this is a learning process for all of right. us i feel like when you're creative you're creative in all facets so mm-hmm. once you get your mind set on doing something you're the only one that stops that so i want to show people how to you know maybe you don't know the do's and don'ts of interviewing or you right. want to learn how to dress for an interview or you just want to be great in these streets and look good <laughs> right, right? <laughs> <laughs> and do you you exactly. never know maybe you're new to the dating scene mm-hmm. and you want to just oh like you said Definitely. a whole new makeover right. we want to do demos and whatever it is we want you to interact with us because exactly. this is a growing process right and whatever questions you have whatever ideas if you have a business you want to reach out we're all about exposure and helping each other Definitely. that's what it's all about mm-hmm. that is i always like to say there's enough money to go around you you have so much competition <laughs> and absolutely. If there's no need <laughs> absolutely and i'm always one of those people who are it doesn't matter who's doing what you're doing what's for it's, you what's is for, for you, you right for you can nobody <laughs> take that away from you right. just keep doing what you're doing to the best potential to yeah. best in your potential just do it you know don't worry about the competition i'm sure there's a lot there's a thousand people in miami alone doing eyelash extensions it's but oversaturated not, everywhere, everywhere. Mm-hmm. it really is and one thing for me was when i was starting out i was looking for everybody i knew to support me and that's wonderful if they do but nine times out of ten they're not people you don't know are rooting for you and that's you true. You know, I mean, you can't let S's. that break you. Don't, some don't, will, some won't. So, so what? what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's no. not going to stop anything, and it definitely shouldn't. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in that. You got to just keep going. Yeah. yeah so. so how about you? What what made you start your makeup? Like, what, what was it that said, you know, I want to get into cosmetics. I know you said you were planning your mom's accessories and makeup. Well, with She Lux Couture... I experienced a lot of things. We did a lot of photo shoots. We did a lot of styling. And I, like I said, I just love beauty. Mm -hmm. So when we were doing the photo shoots, I would sit there with the makeup artist and watch them and ask them different things. And I was like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, I mean, I just started doing it on myself and asking my friends. And then eventually when I started, I moved to Georgia from California because I'm from California. I moved to Georgia. I started going to cosmetology school, but I realized that I really didn't want to do hair. (laughs) (laughs) So I ended up moving here to Florida and I was, well, previous to that, I had thought about going to makeup school. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to mud in New York and I didn't end up making it there. We moved here and then I just did some research and was meeting people and I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. And just so happened beauty schools had just introduced their comprehensive program and they were accepting financial aid because most of the schools <laughs> did not, did not right. Right. and i was just, just like okay i'm gonna do it well that's great that's, and i that's did wonderful. it so I'm what are some tips you can give for young ladies oh. and we'll be back <laughs> Jewelry Box is hosting their second annual Jewel and Spa, and you're invited. Come enjoy a world where jewels, fitness, and beauty collide. Shop our unique vendors while indulging in relaxing spa services, Sweetie's Beauty Bar, or work up a sweat with our complimentary fitness sessions. Meet and greet our honorary sponsor, Tippy Toes Nail, from Oxygen TV's new hit series, Boss Nails. Be empowered by our keynote speakers, which include the legendary makeup artist, Rory Lee, the founder, Nesting Knowledge, and unveiling the mask movement, Miranda Wright. That's Saturday, October 3rd, from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Located at Lantana Recreation Center, 418 South Dixie Highway, Lantana. Admission $12 and $15 at the door. Girls ages 16 and under free. Purchase tickets at www.sjb.com. 
event.com. Some of the proceeds from this event will go to a women and children's shelter this holiday season. We ask that all guests bring a new unwrapped toy or hygiene product. Names of donors will be entered into our raffle. Welcome back to Chapter 36, where we're just talking about beauty, fashion, and entertainment. And Jessica, you had a question for me? Yes, I wanted to know, if you have a, a young girl, because you know it's a lot of girls out here, and they're putting on makeup, and there is nothing wrong with it. Makeup is to enhance your beauty. Exactly. But if you see something where it's just packed on, what would you tell, like, how would you tell them to go about starting their makeup process, their makeup journey, and what, what foundation is best for them, or what lip is best for them? I'll say, like, the preteens and teenagers, you know, because at this point, there's really no age limit anymore. No. Unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> not. Well, the first thing with makeup is aesthetics. You have to make sure that you clean your face and that you have a canvas that I mean everybody has different skin there's texture skin there's mature skin there's flawless skin whatever you may call it but for the most part our youth I would say go pay attention to your skin go have an evaluation of mm -hmm. what type of skin you have you may have combination skin you may have oily dry skin whatever um, depending on what line you prefer to go to it really depends on that because there's stuff for everything that I just named right and that I mean that's the best advice I can give you as far okay. as what type of skin that you have is what's going to work best for you okay. now of course with our younger preteens and young girls less is more I mean for makeup to me, it's all about enhancing your natural your beauty. beauty. Yeah. Unless you're stepping out on a red carpet or you have a special event, even for adults, you have to know what's best for you because it's different type structures of face, it's eye sets, it's mm -hmm. just everything. So mm -hmm. you, I would really suggest that you have a consultation with somebody. Or I mean, we live in the era of social media, so a right. lot of people are going to YouTube, YouTube and things like that. I'm not downing that, right. but... Popular. It really depends on what you're trying to achieve. Right. And I mean, if all those fails, go to the mall and sit in the, <laughs> exactly. and sit in the back of the exactly. specialist chair and they'll definitely let you know. I know for me, when I first started out with makeup, my whole thing is I went through a whole breakout process, like with my acne. I don't know what, was, what started to happen, but mm -hmm. I didn't go through my acne phase until like after 25. Mm -hmm. and Mine just started. For me, oh, it was God. just wanting to cover up <laughs> those blemishes. And like Asia said, it's very important to treat your skin first because if you don't have a clean canvas, you can't, you know, showcase your best art. So what I did for me, I just wanted cover just a little foundation coverage. So I went, that's the first thing I did. I went to MAC because that was the popular makeup brand. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a good brand. So I went there and I just had one of the artists show me, okay, show me how to fix my face where I don't look like I have packed on makeup right. and just give me a nice lip gloss and some mascara. So for me, my go-to items is just a nice light foundation, a nice lip gloss and a good mascara. I don't have to have the whole eyeshadow bit and all. First of all, I don't even know how to do all of that yet. <laughs> I'm learning. Thanks to Asia, she's teaching me oh, all those so makeup nice. tricks. But, I mean, for I me, got you, a good lip gloss, a foundation, and a good mascara are my three go-to items. Yeah, because what I recommend for you or for you would be totally different mm -hmm. because you have to take into consideration a person's undertones, whether you have cool or warm undertones. You may have both your skin complexion it all of that goes into mm -hmm. play your the color of your eyes to the color of your hair what your makeup style is what your preference is yeah. i mean all that is very important because right. my vision that i have for you is not going to be what you see right, right. and That's then everybody's true. style is different like for me i i did a photo shoot for my birthday and i'm telling asia like you know I'm very simple. <laughs> I want to keep it simple. Don't take me up too high. But, you know, at, you eventually, I, I just let her do her thing. <laughs> and I said, I'm not going to look right with all that makeup. But, you know, I just let her do her thing. And, I mean, I came out like a star. I just recognized myself. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just... Get, get professional help at first, or <laughs> sure. if you're going to like a top-notch or high-end event, get somebody professional to do it until you learn the do's and don'ts of makeup. Yeah, if but you just want some tips and 
Yeah, we're here. And like she said, YouTube is there. And you can always go to Asia's Instagram page where she has... um, Asia Omnis, (laughs) O-M-N-I-E-S-E. Yeah, or, you know, just inbox her or DM her. Like, what do you think is best for me or whatever... It's always somebody out there. Mm-hmm. There's a thousand pages that showcase makeup. Just exactly. look and see what fits you. And I would say yeah, that's there's the a lot of amazing me. artists out mm-hmm. there. And I mean, for me, yeah, I got the technical, but it's all about practice. It's yeah. applying what you know and what you learn. There's yeah. so many different sites that people are doing demos. And that's, I mean, I want to do some demos, some lash demos, right. some, some eyebrow be. demos, <laughs> make doing demos so that you guys can see. And you can call in or you can write in and ask the questions of what your concerns, what do you want to know? What do you need to know? Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, aside from the makeup, if you ladies want your mink lash extensions yes. done, um, enhancement, you can go to my Instagram page and check me out at, at lashed, L-A-S-H-E-D underscore and underscore lovely. I know it's long. Lashed underscore and lovely at on Instagram. Right. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, and for, if you want to check out the event, it's www.sjbevent.com and you can purchase your tickets there. Also um, on Instagram at Sweetie's Jewelry Box. Um, I'm always looking at my inbox. I'm always checking things out. If you guys have any questions about accessories, an upcoming event, how could you get involved to help out? Um, just just tag me, message me, let me know. Also on Facebook. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask you how they can get involved as a vendor because they're looking for vendors. And it's all about exposure and helping each other. And I can't encourage you more to come and meet us, come and interact with us, come be a part of it. Because I've been a part of a lot of events mm-hmm. and it costs a lot of money and i know this is your passion i really do (laughs) right it is affordable it is just you genuinely want to help people and i really admire that about you and i'm so glad to have met you (laughs) and shanika thank you yes so contact us ladies and gentlemen too (laughs) you can watch us at amp2 tv um you can reach me at asia omnis on instagram or DM me. Thank you for joining us on our first show of Chapter 36. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining Chapter 36 with your host, Asia Amanis, alongside Shanika Nicole and Associates. As we take you on our journey, as we explore lifestyles, fashion, beauty, and entertainment.